If you have a lot of pictures within your PowerPoint presentation, it's probably a good idea that you go ahead and compress all those pictures so you can decrease the file size of your presentation. That way, if you're going to email this to somebody, it won't take as long, including uploading this to the internet or burning it to a DVD, CD, USB key. To get started, go ahead and click on one of the pictures here, then come up to its related contextual tab to what you have selected down below, which is a picture. So it's Picture Tools. Click on the Format tab. Come over here to the Adjust group. Click on Compress Picture. And then you got some options. Now, if I just go ahead and click OK without going through the options, what that will do is it will go ahead and compress all the pictures that I have within my PowerPoint presentation. Actually, it won't compress them. It'll set it up and compress them the moment I save the presentation. How do I know that? Well, click on the Options button here, and you'll see that it says it automatically will perform the compression when you save it by checking that box, which is checked by default. Then it has delete cropped areas of pictures. In other words, we'll cover this later on in training videos, but when you crop a picture, it just means you're cutting or slicing it out. So I can go ahead and crop the bottom of this and cut it out so we just see their faces. But what happens when you crop the picture cuts it from you seeing it in your presentation, but the program still remembers the full length of the picture, so you can always uncrop it or uncut it as it were. So this way, if you go ahead and check that, it'll actually delete it so you can't undo it. Okay. Also, um, the quality, if it, you're going to be printing this, then you want the high quality, so you want 220 PPI, uh, middle of the road quality, and then email. You want to send it to somebody so they can review it, not that they're going to print it, so the quality doesn't need to be all that great. Go ahead and click OK. We're back to our little pop-up window here. And then finally, if I don't want to compress all the pictures, maybe just this one, then go ahead and check the box and say just only apply this to the selected picture, but I'm going to uncheck it, and then go ahead and click OK. So as soon as I save it, then I'll go ahead and it will compress the pictures. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.